And how do you, when you're not using a company like TIC and you go to, and you used to go to these job fairs, how do you decide on which school you want to go to or how do you decide which are the top tier schools? Yeah, that is a really difficult question to answer. And and just when I think I've, I'm starting to figure it out, I learned that I've been wrong. <laughs> I mean, I uh, as I kind of alluded to before, I, I have jumped into bed with some of the wrong schools for sure. Um, and we'll, we'll get into that with Warsaw. <laughs> but but Warsaw was was one of a handful of others, unfortunately. The um, uh, I mean, a lot of times, especially if you're not conducting the interview in person, uh, it can be hard to say. Um, I mean, uh, going back to Lebanon, it wasn't just the country. There were some things about the school that weren't quite the right fit. Um, and and uh, even though I interviewed in person with the director and and the director sold the school very well, it it I, and I'm not putting this on him or the school, but it just wasn't quite right. And uh, uh, and so you, I guess as as a teacher and as a professional, you just kind of have to ask what it is you're looking for. When when I took the job in Bali, I knew that it was a school in its first year of operation. Um, the person who interviewed with me, one of the people who interviewed with me, was pretty upfront and said, "There's a lot that we just don't know how it's going to work yet. So you'll be a part of that process, and it's going to be messy." And so knowing that, I I was on board, uh, and it, you know part of it was the excitement of being a part of a project like that. But part of it was like, I've got an opportunity to live in Bali for at least a year. I mean, (laughs) and so as a younger teacher, uh, that, that made a lot of sense. Um, uh, But as, as I uh, got on into the years of my career, what became more important was working for a a school that, that had us act together. Uh, It was less important uh, about the location. So, uh, so like the school I worked for in Qatar, they, they, they had it together pretty well. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, they were part of a, uh, a network, a larger network of schools. Um, they, they were well-funded and, and, uh, and that wound up being a, a pretty good match. The, uh, and then, uh, the school in, in Nepal, I mean, I was there for three years, British school of Kathmandu absolutely loved it. Probably the three best years of my career. Um, the school uh, had their curriculum sorted out. They had strong leadership. Uh, and and I just trusted the people that I worked with at all levels. And, and uh, the country was difficult to live in. I definitely did not choose that school for its location. <laughs> but, but looking back on it now, uh, even even those even the experience of living in Nepal was a really formative experience for me, and uh, and so yeah, I'm I'm glad that that all worked out as it did. But it's hard to tell from any interview what the job is actually going to be like, and and it and it is a real leap when you're it, it's a leap of faith not just you know for the job and the people that you work with, but also the country because. Uh, Anyone who's trying to hire you is going to paint a very rosy picture of the country. Um, only a really good employer is going to give you the the bad and the good. Absolutely.